Wildcat makes her reluctant debut this week, which parallels the return of an Injustice member. This week's Stargirl was so good and I think Yolanda's character has so much room to be great. From dealing with body issues, peer pressure, bullying, body shaming, and internal family struggles, this character really rose from the ashes by the end of the episode. I thought the arc was great and the actress good. I think the way that the two girls bonded was a nice setup for what is to come. I also enjoy seeing more of the school life and other people that we knew would be slowly making their appearance here, but it's nice to finally get to that moment. Also seeing Wildcat come to life and how much of a match she is for Stargirl was so much fun, including that they're both intrigued and being seduced by the mystery of the town. I enjoyed seeing the costume one size fits all and her going around acting like a better Catwoman was fantastic. The classmate Beth saw the two sneaking around, so I'm sure the confrontation for that aspect will be next episode, if not the episode after. Elsewhere, Pat was trying to work on Stripe as well as help the magician's widow to get her car fixed. She shows herself to be flustered only before he finds her car totaled and her cat running free. So that's another mystery for Pat to solve. The Dragon King made his way into the Injustice Bunker and made his presence known. His look is so, so interesting and I'm so interested to see how they utilize his power because it's a power that hasn't really been explored but this job has done this show has done such a good job with VFX and such that I'm not really worried but excited. But this was a great filler yet forward episode. A 9 out of 10 for me. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below.